morning guys it's my first full day in Hillsboro North Dakota working the beet harvest got here yesterday a little bit early did a little bit of the orientation I uh, got a bit more of the orientation today don't really know when I'm starting I'll get into all those details it could be as much as another week or so before I get started and the cool thing about the beet harvest and at least who I'm working for now is they paid for me to come in a week early and I get to stay in the campground for free, which I'm gonna show you all around, but that's the office where I'm at in the Hillsboro campground and RV park. Um, that is the laundromat behind are the showers, super nice people, uh, very clean park. Um, not very big, but it's got everything I need. Um, I don't need anything fancy. I live in a car, so <laughs> it's pretty fancy to me. Showers are new and beautiful. Bathrooms are amazing. Uh, plenty of room for Wolfie to run around in. And uh, just like I said, the people are amazing. Starting to meet some people, which is cool. Uh, met a couple subscribers, which is still pretty weird for me because my channel is small, but we have a small community and I'm grateful for them. Try to talk one of them into an interview and she was like, no, um, and that's okay. Yeah, I don't have to be on camera, but it's nice to know that there, um, there are people out there that, that love us a little bit. And uh, really nobody's even here yet. I'm one of the first uh, set of people to, to be here. So um, hopefully we'll meet some more people. Uh, and hopefully my friend Jamie I'm a shouting out to Jamie uh, she has an identical rig to me I don't want to give too much of it away but uh, she's my buddy I met her on uh, Facebook and um, just seems like a really great person can't wait to meet you Jamie and uh, work with you and all that so it's gonna be really cool we're gonna get some epic pictures of of our two rigs next to each other um, Maybe we can get those to go viral but anyway so first day of the beet harvest um, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning Slept in a little bit, um, gonna be a really good day. Can't wait to get over there to get my, my uh, orientation today. Um, and like I said, I'll be dropping little details of the, how much uh, you can make and the hourly wages and overtime and all that. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. Guys, gonna take you, show you. That's the office that the very nice people here run you through your orientation. And remember to bring two forms of ID: passport, driver's license is one, and then social security card. Something with your social security number on it. It's the men's bathroom. Like I said, it's super clean. Looks like it's been recently renovated. And there's two showers, very clean. I was impressed with how clean they were. And these look brand spanking new. Awesome. Really, 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 really nice. Show you guys the laundry now, which I think is open 24 seven. Um, some out of order signs, but there's the two big ones. And 10 quarters, 250 to start on that. And those are the double loads. That's pretty cheap. I've done enough laundry, a road laundry, to know that's not bad. And then we got the, a little bit of out of order, but the, but these big ones are, that's 25 cents to start. So, yeah. Nice and clean, family friendly. Everything I need is here. Good morning, Wolfer. Good morning. It's our first morning in North Dakota in the beet harvest. She's doing amazing. We got some good sleep last night. It's about 50 degrees here. We actually thought it was going to be a lot cooler. Forecast is calling between the um, high 40s and the low 80s, which is kind of amazing. Um, but we're going to be here a month, so we brought some warm stuff, didn't we, baby? We bought some warm stuff. I got her an extra sweater and a, a, a Batman outfit at Goodwill, which is going to be amazing. But anyway, Wolfie's doing good.
if he's giving me a bath. <laughs> Love you, baby. Hey guys at the Beat Harvest and this is about a mile from where I'm staying in Hillsboro, North Dakota and it could not be more beautiful. Beautiful 75 degree day and this is amazing. One of the best parts of RV life. So this is one of the storage areas and the machine in the back is called a pile where they pile the beets. And the beet harvest, most people will come and they will actually be helpers on the pile. I'll try to get some video of that um, just so you can kind of see. It's pretty pretty easy gig, just a lot of standing. And most people can do the job and it starts at 16.50 an hour and every day that we work, we get overtime. Tuning in to another episode of Chasing the Sun where we do everything RV and van life, full time living. And today, I'm dressed as a beet farmer. Yep, I got that right. I'm at the beet harvest. It's my uh, six hour orientation. Um, man, I'm not sure what I expected, but it's not this. Um, I'm gonna go into a much more detailed video tomorrow. Um, I got, have the opportunity to work a uh, skid, a uh, small little bulldozer, skip skid, or be a, a helper or run a pile, um, all those things I'll explain to you. I'm not really sure. I definitely could do the skid steer. It's just sitting down 12 hours a day. Hi, Wolfer. I'm on a break right now. I'm getting ready to go right back to it. Um, I'm not sure I would enjoy that, although it's uh, 80 degrees right now. It's supposed to be getting down to the 30s, so we'll see. I don't even know what shift I'm working. The, um, the helpers uh, down on the ground, they make 1750 for the first eight hours and then they get time and a half and we work 12 hour days so it's about 250 if i'm doing my math about 250 dollars a day basically for the lowest paid person here that's pretty good chicken scratch and then of course there's a bonus at the end and there's saturday time and sunday time which is more and more and more and more so anyway i look a little ridiculous i look like one of the village people who can't decide if he's a construction worker or a cowboy or <laughs> anyway um so yeah i will have uh, way more video coming uh, I, I, i'm not really sure if i'm supposed to be doing it i'm going to see if i can get permission and see uh, how, how much of it i can get it filmed but anyway so just so you know that's what we're doing short video today a little bit of b-roll uh, a little bit of information about the campground where i stayed at i am staying at and I don't really start work unless I can talk them into it for nine days. So they, they brought me here, which is really cool. And I'm getting 10 days free in a campground, which I kind of had other stuff going on. But you know what? It's 10 free days. I've got a lot of free time on my hand. I'm going to go up to Canada, at least the Canadian border, and do some filming up there. And it's going to be, oh, we'll be so tired. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what we can get into. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If there's something that I have not discussed yet in van life and RV life that you'd like for me to, please hit me with an email because my email is below. And as always, you have to get up every single day for the rest of your life and do one thing that gets you closer to your dreams. Right, Wolfie? <laughs> See you on the next one, guys.